this morning and I pray to our ancestors to order my steps aright and my utterance that when I see you, I'll be able to propose to you again. Please, Mark Ego, say yes to me and I'll be the happiest man in this our community. Why do you continue to concern yourself with things that are not important? I have told you, a wife is not the most important thing for you right now. What you need is peace. Why don't you go and find peace first? Yes, my lord. In your submission about peace, you are very correct. But well, how can I have peace when the only woman in this community that my heart yearns for is continuously refusing me for, for no reason at oh. all? Oh, don't say that, my lord. For you know the reason why I refused you. Pretense. Yes, I think this is the right time for you to really explain this word pretense to me because you have always been using it. Eh? But how, why do, what do you mean by it? Um, you are not a hunter. You cannot know the gun. You cannot fry gunpowder. You know, but you cannot even set a deadly trap. There are cattle wearers across the Java River that kill the animals that you roast and come to present to our people. Can you deny this? You may call it business, but shame awaits you because you have deceived our people into calling you, Bawanye, the great hunter, over animals that you have not killed, but another has killed. She, she's always leaving me with words that will break my heart, eh? I don't really. I will never do this with you again. I'm sorry for stressing you out. Please, I really appreciate your support. That appreciation will make more sense. If you tell me the reason we're even doing this. I'm searching for her because she has it. She has what? She can see into the future. Just like mother. I see mother and her. Nothing will stop me. You've totally lost it, haven't you? Don't tell me I've been foolishly following you around the kingdom. Such a maiden you met yesterday. She can see into the future. Just like mother. I see mother and her. Nothing can stop me. You never told me you wanted to marry a maiden that has mother's gift. Could this explain the reason you're so engulfed in that part of mother? I told her I would love to marry someone like her. Someone who can see the future like my mother, but I don't know why she hooked me up with someone who cannot see even her yesterday. Oh, please, Okalicia. Don't say that. That's so uncharitable to speak about Mama. She also has her own good part. Besides, this maiden you speak of, how sure are you that she's even human? She could be a spirit sent to save you from that disaster. You know, I never thought of that. You see? Please, my brother, let's be careful. You never know the value of what you have until you lose it. I am thinking of going to the shrine of Agbalanyo to see the priestess. That sounds big. Why do you want to do that? The way she handled my father has completely changed him. All his hostilities towards me for coming close to you has disappeared. He knows I come to see you and doesn't say a word. Okay. It might not be the priestess at work. Perhaps something happened around him that changed all of that. You know, too many things happen around us that we just can't comprehend. Certain things like what? Well, you and I are living. Just imagine if our ancestors were to open our eyes to the forces around us right now. Trust me. Wakego, enough already. Please don't start saying things that would scare me. Moreover, I ran into your Bawani yesterday. I 
Hmm. What? What's the official expression? What do you mean by my bawanya? Since when did he become my bawanya? I mean, did I ever tell you I see him as mine? What is your problem, Wafi? You have such a nice looking young man coming after you. I met him yesterday and he complained bitter. Ebe, please. Let's change the subject, please. I know you love him. Why don't you just say yes and be married? Enough, Ebe. I just told you. Let's not discuss this again. Besides, if you're sick and tired of running after Onyeka, you can as well run after Bawanye, but don't you ever refer to him as mine. We must never discuss this topic again. Please. Bawanye, I still remember the great days of your late father, Bawanye Okeke. I no more to know of Obode Titi, our land. Hey! Bawanye, why are you bringing shame on the name of such great man? What, what is that supposed to mean, Oyeka? What do you mean I'm bringing shame on a great man? Eh? What does that mean? Bawanye, you should not shout me down. Don't shut me down. Bawanye, you know what I mean. What is that? Yes. Bawanye, lions, they say beget lions. Therefore? Your father was a warrior. So? He was a warrior. You are a warrior as well. Ibu Odobu, you are a warrior. Now, why would a maiden, an evil maiden, who was supposed to be running, searching and seeking after you. Be there and you're running after her. And she's even the one rejecting you. Onyeka, there's only one reason why I'm listening to you and you're not getting a point. It's because you're my friend. But please do not underrate my leniency. Do not underrate my leniency. Stop saying such rubbish against my woman. Stop! Stop that madness. Stop it! She's not a woman. Why would you call her your woman? She's not! Onyeka, okay, you know what? What? Get out of my compound this minute. Queen, what did you say? Leave my compound. And if I fail to leave your compound, if I fail, what happens? Then stay here and ask me stupid questions. Excuse me. But when you put the same beaters, but when you, but when you, I will not leave you. I will not leave you until you do the right thing. I won't leave you until you do the right. Come, come and do your worst. Come and do your worst. Are you alright? Do I look sick to you? Not sick, exactly. But your attitude these days has been very strange. Especially towards Mwaki. Or has it something to do with the priestess of Agbalanyam? Was it something you decided on? Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. Voice of silence. Voice of silence. Silence has a voice. It has a golden voice. My name is Nando, my brother, please. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Shut up. She's all that I am. Even in the land of the spirit, I will watch out for her. I will not spare you if you harm her. Stay back in the Okay. You must not plan or support any evil against her. 
or hers. I will forget the fact that you are my brother and treat you like a total stranger. Be one. Be one. Are you not going to say something to me? What can go with your sister? If you want to be with her, go ahead. But you must be safe. And do no stupid thing. Really? Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Papa. What has this wonderful woman been? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You have not been able to get you out of your mind. That maiden father. The one that asked me to go back on that day of the fire incident. He made the ask you to go back and just telling me now? Father, she predicted the fire disaster and told me that some were destined to die that way, but I was not among. This is serious. A maiden told you that. Who is she then? Father, that is the question that has been giving me sleepless nights. Who is she? I, I didn't have time to ask her that because by the time she told me about that, I was weighed down by shock. Ojo and I have searched for her everywhere a less could carry, but Father, we couldn't get anything. We... Akreka confirmed to me about the special maiden with the gifts of the gods. Could she be the one? Father, who are you talking about? I know who you are talking about. But the question here is why are you looking for her? You know her and you know where I can find her right now. She tried to save life like that before. But no one could listen to her. You are lucky to have listened to her. Ejaculator. Please. Direct me to where I can find her. Oh, I am interested to know the reason why you're looking for her. She saved my life. She saw me on the road and asked me to discontinue from where I was going. That death awaits me there. Somehow I listened to her. And that has kept me alive. All the people that were there were burnt by strange fire. Please, at least let me see and appreciate her. Hmm. Wakigo is an orphan. She has nothing, but I know she's contempted with all she has. And she will never, never accept any sacrifice of thanks from you. It's your agriculture. Please, make it possible for us to meet. There must be something she likes I can offer her. She saved my life. And now, I value her just like my life. I will soon stop you from being here. It's not like I came for that. Too. Uh, but not, not that I've given up on, on us. Uh... Listen, you have more important things to worry about other than a woman. I've told you that before. 
You've been seeing this more often and it's getting me more confused. Ah. Take away the cause of the confusion and everything will be fine. The cattle wearers who do the killing while you take the glory are angry with you. I see disgrace coming your way. Can you please speak more clearly to me? I'm confused. The men that do the hunting. The real men who do the killing while you take the glory as the great hunter. Stop it while you can. But this is my business. Hunting is what I've been doing for a very long time. If I stop hunting, my love, what, what will I do? Don't you dare call me your love. You have abandoned the talents that the gods have given to you. And you have chosen to do a business of pretense. See, this is what I'm known for in our land. Everybody knows me in Obodi as the most successful hunter. Can't you see it is not a... You are not a hunter. You are not the one who does the hunting. How else am I supposed to explain this for you to understand what I'm trying to say to you? That you have to go back to the talents that the gods have given to you. You cannot refuse to explore the talents that the gods have given to you and begin to do something else. A man who does that cannot have I, Waki daughter of the gods, as his woman. And the earlier you understand that, the better for you. peace in this community anymore. Why are you pursuing my life, Pan? Why? What is it? Ah. Bawani, any man who refuses to explore the talents given to him by the gods can never have Mwakego, the daughter of the gods, as his woman. Bawani, if you may understand me, it will help a lot. Listening to us. Were you listening while I was discussing with my woman? Bawani, you're lucky. You're lucky. I tried to find out reasons you must leave her. Rather, I found out reasons you never leave her. Bonyaka. Were you actually listening? Of course. I heard her tell you a story about the cattle rearers and their plans. Bawani, that maiden means well. She means well for you. Now I believe that she is truly the daughter of the gods. Bawani, I would want you to use all your might, all that you have, and go for her. In whatever situation, I'll be there to assist you. Voice of silence. Voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. Voice of silence, voice of silence, silence has a voice, it has a golden voice. It's your Kogu. It's you. Chill. Oh yeah. It, it's here. Greetings. We, we greet you. You are the one who did it. Who did it? 
Maxine, how come you did not see this coming? Perhaps I only see things that are real. Tell me, why are you this excited? I knew it. I knew he wanted me, but he wanted to do it his own way. Now he has finally bought my heart with a super surprise. Are you going to tell me or not? No. Give me the answer to this riddle. When a man comes to see your father with a keg of palm wine, what do you think he wants? Asking for your hand in marriage? Yes! You got it correctly. Oh, how much I love you. Oneka has come to my father with a keg of palm wine. Oneka has brought my to my father. Of course I am. This is good news. I need to go now. I need to go so that I will be there to see how he tells my father how much he loves his daughter. You should. I need to go before my father calls me. I will call you and tell you everything you need to know. I will come back and tell you everything you need to know. I took this decision because over time uh, I thought it was something I could do on my own. But as time went on, uh, I discovered that it would be difficult for me because she was only seen a different thing at time. So in shape, please, I have come to you to help me plead my case and to let her know that I'm genuine. Did well. That shows that you are a responsible young man. The fact is that I am not blind towards your efforts to win her heart. I know all that. And I know your good intention to marry. <sighs> it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate I cannot do anything to help. It's your call. You are the only father that works in Christ. Yes. My friend and I believe that if you talk to her, she will listen to you. I have no such right over her. In fact, I have washed my hands of anything that concerns me. Ichi, how can you say that? Eh? How is that possible? You're like a father to her. Yes. Okay, what if you only to Brother Onyam and I am obeying his command. That I should keep off from his daughter. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Ichi, you mean he asked you to stay away from the daughter? You had me right, young man. You want to go on to marry Wakego? Then keep on trying. Try your best to win her heart. And if she does give her heart out to you, it is my duty to give her hands out to, to you in marriage, and that is all. Keep on trying, my boy. Keep on trying. Hmm? That is just all I can do. The last time I saw you cry was when Papa died. And even at that, you had to force the tears out, as they don't come easily. Why am I so near locked? Why do you I need an answer? She must give me that. You're not ill locked, my sister. That is a terrible thing to say about another, let alone oneself. You mean you haven't noticed? You haven't noticed how unlucky I have been. Especially with men. All I see before me <laughs> is a strong and a happy woman whose future is as bright as the brightest sun. You are the lucky one, Wakego. Yes. They came to my father with a keg of palm wine. 
to and not there for me. What's for you? <laughs> the? You never told me Oyeka came with anyone. Somebody would have said. I really must have seen this with your six eyes. Your time will come. I have told you, Iberi. No one wants to marry a maiden who throws herself at him. Go on. Reach on. What is it with you? Would you say yes to Bamaye until he takes his own life to convince you? Indeed. Those with Botox. Those with Botox do not know how to sit. Why did you take up for me? Was it in me? My princess, the truth is that the prince was here. But what I don't understand is why you're looking for him. Does it mean Prince Okalisia of Obode Titi is one man that will not be allowed to do what he likes? I'm sorry, Ichi Akrika, but you sound as if he has already briefed you. Briefed me? On what, my princess? Okalisia has been moving around the kingdom. Searching for a maiden, he called the seer. He said that she is the one he wants to meet his wife. Oh, that was not what he told me. He said her ministration saved his life. And he wants to see her and thank her. Each year he withheld that information from you because he believed you don't need it. I'm telling you now. And I want you to use your good office in the land to stop him. He has a maiden chosen for him already by our mother. Yes, I know her. I know her very well. Good. Then you must agree with me that Okalisa has no reason to search for another when he has such a maiden waiting for him. I believe you'll do this for me. I believe the gods are planning something. My princess, let's follow you. You claim to be close to me, but you do not know me at all. That is because you have not allowed me to know you. I am not the kind of woman that you can have. I am strange and different. Haven't you noticed? Haven't you heard what people are saying? Wakeko, this same strange woman that you have grown to be, I watched you grow into it. And I've come to love this woman. Who continues turning me down is killing me. How do you think people will regard you when they find out that you are not a hunter? Well, talking about that, I've really investigated it. I've spoken to all the men that the cattle riders that I do business with across the Njaba River. And none of them seem to know you. And because they do not know me, I do not have information on them. It's obvious. You don't know. Oh, Michael, please. I beg of you. Everything. Everything that I've done in my life. I did it to win the heart of the woman that means a lot to me. And since pretense and living a fake life has not won her over to you, why can't you change? You have great craft in your hands and in your eyes. The gods have blessed you with talent. Use the talent that the gods have given to you. Makego idi mumma. Makego mani marama. Babu nam biaranso kamwagi kaobi. Iga jumu, iga rapu, iga ekuoku, oku na bawa mubi. Odima, njuba ki odima, kedi fem kaime, kaibu 
She standed. She feels we have abandoned Agoba to die. She also came to me. The truth is that we should not bother ourselves with the ranting of a woman. Agoba is our brother and our hero. The gods of Anienugu knows that we have not abandoned Agoba to die. But at least we need to do something to convince the, the woman that we have done our best. Something like what? We have sent for one and she has started treatment. We should at least give her two days to prove herself. Hmm. I agree with you completely. But there is need for us to spread our search to other lands. Other lands like where? Like uh, Umuwa Baleri, Obudeye Titi, uh, Isiyoye Nato, uh, Osili, and Abomim, and the rest. We must not only help Agoba to get well, we must be seen as doing all within our powers. Icho Chaya, all these kingdoms you mentioned are inferior to Anienuku. We cannot afford to ridicule ourselves by going down to an inferior kingdom to seek for help. Yeah. Uh, Ichocha, mm -hmm. I think at this point mm -hmm. we should take this matter to the king. Yes. Because if Agoba dies and without us doing something to convince that woman that we have done our best for the husband, our hero, mm -hmm. that woman may take us to Ajane. Let me ask us. Can we stand before Ajani and swear that we did our best for Agoba, our hero? Mm -hmm. That's a question. Agoba won't kike. Kupo yiko ina nienuku. The hero of our land. What man of sickness has knocked you down like this? Your men and your house are not running around to serve them with color knots. Agoba, rise. Rise to your normal self and let this sickness depart from you. <sighs> Agoba, my hero. I don't know. Whatever is it that can hold a tiger like you down? Is indeed strong. Help! I've asked around that this man of Obedetiti, his name is Akrika. They said he can heal my husband of this illness. Elders of our land, I'm pleading. You take my husband to this man so that he will be healed of this illness. Please, I'm begging. I don't know what to do again. I'm exhausted. We've heard you. We are glad that you've been going around, asking around. It goes to show that you're a good wife to your husband. We'll make brother inquiries on your suggestion and we'll get back to you. Agoba Wokike. Hey, You are certain things you just cannot say. Ichi Ochaya, if you like to defend a stupid suggestion from a woman, it has nothing to do with me. I'm a warrior and I will never succumb to any suggestion from a woman, mainly a strange woman that Agoba married from Ogodane. Ichi Ikwe Malezioku, please stop this age-long campaign against the people of Ogodane. It's not taking us anywhere. 
This woman only suggested something we should look into. Now both of you listen to me. This is a trap. A trap sent by a married woman from another land to make us play down on our cultural relevance by playing into the hands of Obodeity. I disagree with you. I disagree with you. That woman has not set any trap. She's only concerned about her husband and made a suggestion. Is that suggestion that will make Obodeity lose down on us? There is nothing that will make me go to Obodeity. Nothing. We have our own. Let us invite one Yolo to heal our hero and our brother. She can do it. She has healed worse sickness in the past. Please. When a man loves a woman, he can do whatever strange thing to make the woman happy. But when you put this one is going to the extreme, it's going to the extreme. See, I never knew that my friend can sing so very well and we've been searching around to get someone who would lead us in songs in our community. Yeah, this is not a joking matter. And it's not like she asked me for an extraordinary, like a big deal thing. She only asked me to forfeit all my fake life and concentrate on my God's given talent. I don't think she's asking too much, is she? You have my support. You know you have my support in whatever would make her yours. I would want you to be careful in whatever decision that would make jeopardize the means of your life you do. Listen, what she asked me to do is to stop parading myself as a hunter and concentrate on my free giving talent from above, which is weaving. And you and I know that weaving, I did not learn from anybody, it just came. And each time I weave, people are appreciating me so much. I, I, I don't know what word to use. I know how it started. But my problem here is how much you could make from weaving to sustain yourself. Well, the, the truth is, my woman knows me and understands me. And I'm sure we have support. I don't even see any reason why we should overlook today, which is a day of a little beginning. Mm. What about tomorrow? I'm aware they have briefed you on what they are planning. I don't want it to happen. I brought you here to plead with you not to allow them to rob the shame on our great Anienugo land. When a renowned healer admits that the situation is more than what she could handle, then truly the situation is very serious. Everyone knows what you can do, Wanyolo. Help save a brother. We don't have to ruin our age long cultural relevance by going to a city to seek for help. I understand what you mean, but this is all about human lives and your duty. Is to save that man. Hey, go ahead and save him. Save him, Wanyolu. Help save Atuba. I do not wish to deceive neither you nor myself. Aguba's condition is more than I could handle. But if his wife says that man of obodetity can handle it, then involve them and save a warrior. This is beautiful. I made them. They're from my hands. You did? Yes. <laughs> it's really beautiful. If you take this to the market to sell, it will be sold in no time at all. No. I've made it for you. Just for you, my love. I won't refuse this because it is true. I like the meat you bought. Thank you. And thank you again for making me, helping me discover my talents. I believe you turned me down because of my fake life. 
and I, I took a decision to turn around and do the right thing. Not just for me, but for you, my love. Listen to me, Balanya. One should always make decisions because of themselves. Because only you will bear the brunt of the outcome. But still, I'm proud of you. You're welcome. Are you still going to turn me down? Makego Idimuma Makego Mwanyi Marama what is he doing here? My biggest problem is that nobody understands the insult. What insult, my princess? Oh, my mother, of course. She found a maiden for her son. A maiden she already named his wife. Then she dies. And is moving around the kingdom searching for another. That is very insulting. I feel so sick right now. My princess, to me, I see no insult here at all. The prince knows what he wants in a wife. And if he hasn't seen that in the one your mother found, I think he has the right to search for another. Oh, just shut up! Shut up, Obioma! It is people like you that has been encouraging him to disregard my mother. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet and say nothing at all. Why are you not bothered about your son? Why are you not thinking of your own marriage? The prince is a man, and you are a woman. Time is always on his side. But I doubt if anyone can say the same about you. Princess Ojugo, think! She was actually talking to you, my princess, but the truth is that she spoke to me. I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. What is going on here? What is your friend up to? My princess, a young man of this land has been asking her to be his wife, but she refused giving him attention. I think the priestess just opened her eyes. So she's going there right now to say yes to the man? Maybe. My princess, a woman who has no husband has something vital missing in her life. I pray I get my own man soon. Seriously. You didn't know how long I've stayed. I did not go hiding. That day on the road was my first time of seeing you. How come you've lived all your life in this kingdom and I have not got to meet you? It's not your fault, my prince. My face is not the type that one should remember, no matter how many times you come across it. <laughs> but immediately I walked in into this place, no one told me you were the one I saw on the road. Doesn't that prove you wrong? I've actually come to thank you for saving my life from that unfortunate infant. How you come to know about that impending disaster is one question that has not left my mind. I was actually speaking with someone when the picture came to me. I knew I had to leave immediately to save someone's life. Until I got to you, I never knew it was the prince. 
I don't understand. It came to you like a divination vision of what? I've come to observe that you're not the type that talks too much. Oh, please. Speak to me. I've answered your question, Great Prince. You came to me in a picture. I was asked to move. I moved. I got to you. Asked you not to leave. And you obeyed. And here you are alive today. Please thank the gods. Not me. Does that make you see her then? Thank you very much for appreciating me. And I must thank the heart from where these came from. But I'm sorry. I cannot accept that. Man of an enemy, I do not want to believe you came all the way from your land to ask me if I can do this or that. I will not give you a specific answer when I have not seen the man in question. Ichi Akrika, that is why I requested that you come with us. His condition is so critical that he cannot be brought here. As we speak, he is paralyzed and incapacitated. Paralyzed and incapacitated? The combination is not good for the ears. There is always a way out. Why are we stayed here speaking like women? Are you going with us or not? We came because we were highly recommended. Let's please behave like men. Your colleague earlier said that all the medicine men in Anenugu failed to heal the man. Have you heard him? Have you listened to him? I know he was going to rub it in. We have not come here to listen to you insult our medicine men. Yes, they failed to heal him. And so what? Must you continue repeating it? Please, don't let this our mission be fruitless. Why are you picking a necessary quarrel with this messy man? He's our only hope. No, 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 no. It's your chair. In God forbid. I refuse to be bossed into that corner that this man is our only hope. No. Our messy man failed to heal Aguda. Must he keep repeating it? Uh, please. I think I, he didn't mean it that way. Please, just tell us what we are saying. Please. Let's move forward. Mm. Men of Anenugu, I will not follow you to Anenugu without inquiries. We need a seer to help us trace the course of the sickness. And once that is done, the Spirit will guide me to the healing. She is Wakego, great daughter of Obodejiti. She is gifted for the power to see beyond human eyes. She will help us trace the cause of the sickness. Once we know the cause, the spirit will guide me to the healing. How will she know the cause of the sickness when she has not seen the sick man? Well, I don't have a problem you're calling her. She's the seer you're working with. Could she follow us to Aninugu then? Your own is becoming too much. Be quiet! So that the spirit of divinity will flow. Most of the it shows stupidity in everything they do. What is this nonsense before us? We are not here for you to educate us on how you men of the behave before your seers. 
We are here for you to heal our hero who is down and incapacitated. I choose to ignore that. Okay. For reasons best known to me, I will follow them to an end of it. But please, before we leave, can you please help us to trace the cause of the sickness that got the man paralyzed and incapacitated? Aguba. The great warrior of Anienu. The Opopoi coin of Anienu. Is he the one? She asked a question. Is he the one? Yes, he's the one. His sickness has given us sleepless nights because it has defied all treatment. We are here because his wife would take the case to our journey if her husband dies without her doing something. I see the cause of the unfortunate sickness is in his past. But that past is hidden from me. <laughs> You see yourself? <laughs> Look at the seer you brought before us. She can see nothing. You cannot say that of me. For I have seen the cause of his sickness. I cannot speak about a man whose spirit is no longer in this world. Agoba, the great warrior of Anienugu, is dead. And for that reason, I will not speak about the cause of his sickness since he is not alive. What do you mean that he's dead? We left his heart for this place and he was alive. That is exactly what I've been trying to avoid. Eh? This whole thing has turned into a child's play. The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. An evil owl flew into his heart. You see, I'm losing it. I am losing it. I don't know the culture of your land, but where I came from, Anyanugu. Owls don't fly in daytime! I can assure you that an owl flew in your land today. It flew in when the sun was in the middle of the sky. It took his soul away. He's dead. I will not speak about the cause of his death. Because in Igbo land, like you know, we do not speak evil of the dead. He died with an important truth. A truth that need not be hidden. Yet, he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the owl came and took his life. He died with that truth. But someday, that truth will be revealed. In their lie his corpse. Ogugu has confirmed that he is dead. Why will Aguba die now that you have found someone who hate hey. him? Hey! Damn this! Damn maiden! Of a bit it was right! After all! Okonta, when did this happen? Can you remember? When I heard how his wife screamed, the sun was in the middle of the sky. And I ran in. I saw an owl flying off. I still can't understand why an owl will be flying during the day. I went inside immediately and met him lifeless. The sun was in the middle of the sky when he passed. You may ask those who were there with him when it happened. An evil owl flew into his heart. We need to sound Ikorodike. We need to bury our hero, Akoba. Then I'll have something to say. An 
notice all this while and I tried to avoid it. Nobody listened to me. Finally, an evil maiden of Obodititi sent an evil owl to take the spirit and soul of our hero. Mbano, you cannot say that. Will you do me a favor and shut up? That maiden killed our hero. We must let the Obodititi people know that they are too basic to play with the revered people of Anyenugu. Don't you think you are reading unnecessary meaning into it? Icho Ochiara, you know me too well. I will defend Anyenu with the last drop of my blood. We committed massive blunder when we elected to involve other healers from other land. That evil maiden killed Agoba, and I want us all to open our eyes. Sincerely, I'm trying very hard to convince myself that that innocent maiden, that seer in Obude Titi, is responsible for Agoba's death. Chokwana, have you forgotten the enmity between Obude Titi and Anyenugu? Do you not think that they will stop at nothing trying to outdo us? Killing our hero, Agoba of Anyenugu, will be a great achievement for them. We play the fool by going to them. They struck when it matters. They struck us very deep. Hmm. I think I now know where we are coming from. Did any of you see how she looked at us as people who are coming from the land of the dead? If this is true, then what are we doing here sitting talking? Nobody oh, cannot put their fingers like that in our eyes. Agoba is dead. What is dead must be revenged. And the king of Obodetiti must be forced to act. If he fails to act, his kingdom will go up in flames. I remember vividly the day the men of Akutu wanted to rape my sister. Stood your ground and rescued her. Oh. My friend, I don't get it. Are you seeing you traveled all the way from Anino just to come here? I remind me of something I must have probably forgotten. It's strange. I didn't forget. I have not forgotten. That day you touched me where it mattered most. And I promised myself that I will pay you back someday. So, so tell me, how do you intend to pay me back? Bawanye. Yes. You once told me that the maiden you want to marry is a seer. Something happened in my land. And I think that maiden is at the center of it all. I don't understand. You're getting me more confused. I saw it coming and I warned my fellow elders but they refused to listen. Finally, a maiden has used an evil owl to terminate the life of a great man of Anenugu. That maiden must take her own life or Obodetiti will go up in flames. I brought you out here to promise you that even if all the men of Anenugu ignore what happened, I will never ignore it. We will call them down on the game market day. We will call them down on a for day. We will call them down on Umpo Day. 
We will cut them down on Ori Market Day! Tell you, you need to make the confirmation that the set seer you want to marry is the one they are planning to eliminate. If she is the one, you must do something. You don't know my people. My people of Anyemidu are one mongers. And now that they have an evil entity as Emma Lezioko as the head of the warriors, it's worse. They plan to attack. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are making plans. So make the confirmation. If she is the one, you must do something. I have to be on my way. Safe. What is the meaning of that? I am a maiden of this land. When was my movement? When did I have my movement restricted? Okay, go. I had a visitor today who came all the way from Anienugu to visit me, and I did not like the news he came with. What is my business with who visits you? I'm asking you what you are doing here. Please, what did you say to the man who came from Anienugu today to see Akreka? Ah. I see that they are shocked that an ordinary maiden like myself can be that accurate with the message. And they are surprised at the truthfulness of it. Well, the truth is that this has gone beyond shock. They believe that your message was too accurate to be ordinary. And they also think that you are a witch. And you have used your witchcraft to manipulate an arrow that killed their kinsmen. And they are planning evil against you. You should not be surprised if I say that I do know what they have in their dirty hearts. All the same, I thank your friend for coming all the way to let you know. Please, Mark Hagel, do not joke with this message. It's serious. The man from Anienu can be very dangerous while right here. I've given you my message. to understand why you are talking to me the way you are. Akaka, why I'm talking to you the way I've been talking is this. You have been using her. I you know it. You have been using her to your own advantage. And you must stop. Now, you must stop. Young man, let me tell you. I saved her from banishment when I went to the king and proclaimed her a blessed child of this land with the gift of the gods. She knows it. And she's paying me back. Yes. She's paying me back. She's paying you back. Let me clap for you. But let me ask you, Akrika. When she was not here, were you not here? Why did you have to get her involved? Why? 
Because you do not know. Because you are a little boy. I heal people with a lot of difficulties. It is by trial and error. We follow the pattern of trial and error. But the involvement of Maki has made things much more easier for me. She came here this morning with a pot of water. And this she has been doing every day. And she greeted me like a father. Why are you ranting here? Why? Why I'm ranting Akrika is because the men of Anilu who came here to seek for healing for their brother. They believe that she used her knowledge of witchcraft to send the elder kid their brother. That's why I'm ranting. Why I'm very serious, Akrika. You better fix this. You better get this fixed. Or you have me fix you. I won't say this again. Fix it. I'll fix it. Why are you looking at me like that? Does this have anything to do with the men of our Did you do it? Did you mistake him? which demanded and it happened. You know people like you that has the gift of the third eye can do a lot with their mind. From all you already know of me, do you believe I killed the man? No. But I know you are gifted. But I do not know the limit of your gift. I am confused. Listen, I remembered you said they are coming to take away his soul. And it happened that same way. And the people now believe that you know things about it. Mark, please tell me all you know about the man. You know I am the only person that will save you and protect you. You asked me to come and help you. And that is exactly what I did. So you did not do it. I hate to talk so much. Can I go now? Oh, okay. They are going to make you hang yourself. I know. You have not seen that. Did you? Do not hesitate to call me if you ever need my help when you're killing anyone. As for the men of Anyanugu, I am not bothered about them, for I stand with the gods. We are miseries from our king, Igwa Kalamado Kalammo, Isi Nechendu of Umu. Arakai Hobo of Idumuri Kingdom. You can praise your king the more. He deserves it. Because he is a great king. But to what do I owe the honor of your pursuit? The frog does not run in vain in the afternoon. Set your mission, you have my attention. Some days ago, a great calamity befell the people of Anyonugu. A great hero of our land, the person of Agoba, Kokbo Aniko Nyi of Anyonugu, passed away. Losing him was sad, but not as disheartening as the calamity behind his death. But uh, what has the death of your kinsman got to do with me and my kingdom? Is that what we are here to let you know right now? Someone has used a vast knowledge of witchcraft to send an evil owl to take an important soul of our land. We are here in peace, but that peace can evaporate if someone fails to do what we expect. I am beginning to smell something on blizzard. Please, permit me to send messages around the land so that I can involve one or two persons. Uh, you, you presented a matter against our daughter. But please, we are begging you to give us time. You have all the time, but mark my words. If you fail to provide the evil maiden to hang herself before us, then our men will come to get enough heads of commodity men with which we'll bury our hero. 
we give you seven market days. That is the message from our king and our people. The choice is yours. I've never seen those faces before. Who are they and what do they want? People of Anienugu and their troubles. Are they from Anienugu? Yes, sent by their king. But I don't think I have any issue to settle with them. What issues? Please, tell me what the problem is. What is the problem? Mark Ego, late Uno Melanto's daughter. Yes, yes. Predicted that their brother would die. Later, that's the same person died. Uh -huh. They don't believe that she's a witch. <laughs> oh, God, Dad. This is the most incredible story I've ever heard for my life. That someone predicted that this person would die and at the end of the day he died. What has witchcraft got to do with that? According to them, they said that anybody that commits such an offense must hang him or herself as a punishment. What? Hang him or herself? This is a dangerous time in our history. We ask them to give us time. But seriously, there is trouble. Why are you behaving as if nothing is happening around here? What do you want me to do? Maybe you should at least cry. That will relieve some tension around here. <laughs> you are even laughing. Do you even understand anything? Why is everything bad happening to this family? First, I lost my mother and three brothers. And then your mother and only brother died. As if that was not enough, your father also died. And what is about to happen now? My only cousin is about to hang herself. Why is everything bad happening? Why? Hey, Beret, there's no need for what you're doing right now. Those who are dead are resting in peace. What about you? Do you know what it means for someone to hang herself? What were you thinking working with a character like Akrika? I do not blame Ichi Akrika for anything. He needed help and he got it. He never willed for any of this to happen. I have told you that I have washed my hands of anything that has to do with one thing. Yes, yeah, I understand that. But that was when I came to plead so that you let me uh, plead my case so that she can accept me. And what is the difference? What has happened? You don't know. You have no head. Head what? It's all over the town. Even the beds are single with the news. It is none of my business. After all, Akrika is the queen. No, Ishia, I refuse to accept that with you. Eh? After all, you know very well that Akrika just took advantage of her. Moreover, she's only but a child. She's a child. Because of that, we're not going to let her just die like that. We will need to fight for her. In case your father did not tell you anything before he died. And Enugu has been our rivals from time in memory. They are warmongers. They are ready to kill, even at the slightest provision. Is she another history? But are we going to allow them to kill our innocent, innocent maiden that, that the gods give to us freely? No! We shall rise and fight for her! That's what I'm saying. What are you trying to insinuate? To go to war? Against an Enugu people? What, what weapon? No, to, to, to war against them? What weapon are you going to use? This is the cause of my parents. It is not. It's 
a war of doing the right thing and protecting it. It's a war of fighting for justice and fairness. That's what I'm saying. I shall not meddle in the affairs of two kingdoms. That is the duty of his individualism. As for Wakiko, I think she has everything to fight the war herself. I'm here to tell you you shouldn't worry at all. I will do all I can to keep you safe. I wonder what the prince can do over a matter that is beyond the king himself. Okay, but even if it's the last thing I do before I die, I will try and see that no harm befalls you. I wonder again why you'd want to help a poor orphan like me. Maybe the gods want to say something to you. Why not listen to them and tell me what they're saying? Your life is filled with so much emptiness, Prince of Calicia. Why don't you leave my problems alone and try to face yours? Did you just say that to me? What do you mean by that? I mean no disrespect, my prince. I can't help but talk about the emptiness in your life. Why are they looking for something that they already have? I don't understand that. Something like what? I am not afraid of the men of Anienugu. For I stand with the gods. Thank you for offering to fight for me. But there will be no need for that. You told me that your brief encounter with a priestess it changed your psyche completely. But you go, I am disappointed for I see no change. Why do you hate this medicine so much? I don't hate her, you know. If you're sure you don't hate her, why not be part of solutions to her problem? What solutions? Everything points to the fact that his speculations about her could be true. Oh, have you not heard about the circumstances surrounding her father's death? Oh, Ojigo, I'm surprised you're talking this way. Are we still talking about the same maiden who saved my life from that infant that took the lives of others? Oh, please! Stop reading wide meanings into my presentation. This one is different and you know it. Oh, how? No, tell me. If you can give me a reasonable answer, I will stop talking about it. Talk to me. You see? You don't have anything to say. Thank you for your support. He died with an important truth. A truth that need not be hidden. Yet, he hid it. And even on his sick bed, the ancestors of Anienugu pushed him to reveal this truth. He refused until the hour came and took his life. He died with that truth. But someday, that truth will be revealed. I don't know what else I must do. He refuses to accept the cola. Why, Yolo, listen to me. You have to go back and repeat it all. You have to keep repeating it until it works. And why must I do that? I've done all I can do, but he keeps throwing the pieces of cola back at me. The Nadian of Obodetiti wants to insult our land because she's a seer. She wants to make public a cardinal secret in this community. Ah. Something that will make other kingdom to look down on us. I brought you here because you are the only one in Anyenugu presently that can seal her mouth by casting the Kola knot into the port of Obulofulwe. And I accepted to do that because of the position you occupy in this land. I have done what I should do, but the forces refuses to seal her mouth. Maybe we should allow her to say what she sees. You never can tell when it will become blessings to us. Why did I allow 
the trip to Ogode Titi, how else must I stop this insult? Father, I've known you as a man who stands for justice. And I will forever stand for justice. Why didn't you succumb to the ploy to waste an innocent life? What's the proof that she is innocent? This is the second time such allegation has come against her. I dismissed the first one because it, it was waiting. But this second one is different because it involves the people of Anirugu. Father, you may forget any other thing, but don't forget that this lady in question saved the life of the heir to the throne. Of all the seers I've seen, she remained the only one who is not bothered about money, gift, or anything at all. Father, can't you see? Can't you see she has a pure link with the gods? This is just a ploy by an Enugu people to destroy a wonderful and gifted daughter of this land, Father. Father, why does such an enmity exist between two kingdoms that can pass as brothers? This is how I met it, my son. Things are even better now. Better? With all the silent enmity and bitterness assuming from both kingdoms, I do not see anything good. Talk more of getting better. <laughs> but my son, at least, we intermarry now. In the days of my father, there was nothing like that. In fact, the people of both kingdoms could not even walk past one another on the same path. There must be a way forward. Two kingdoms that live close together cannot live as enemies forever. There are certain things you need to know before you ascend the throne. If you enjoy peace with them when you reign, see it as a great reason to thank the gods and the ancestors. Whatever that will make you have any problems with any Enugu people must be avoided. And if you will listen, keep yourself away from both their friendship and most especially their trouble. Okay, Father. I remember what my father told me. I have built peace with an Enugu people all my life. And I can't just destroy because of a medium what I have built all my life. Father, you speak in videos. What are you going to do? Peace. Peace with an Enugu people. We cannot start a war because of her. We must give them what they demand for. What they demand for? Father, you mean you ask an innocent lady of this land to hang herself? Would you, we lose our people, the heads of our people because of her? Is her life worth that waste? Son, think like a man who will reign in this kingdom after me. She must be made to hang God's self. And that's the only way we can save this land. <laughs> 